If you've been using Shadow Play, also known as GeForce Experience with Instant Replay, then OBS Replay Buffer shouldn't be a new thing to you. Basically, it allows you to record gameplay videos without the need to continuously record all the time, making it perfect for capturing unexpected moments or highlights during gameplay. To enable Replay Buffer, ensure the recording settings are configured. Then, navigate to OBS Settings, click on Output, and select the Replay Buffer. Enable it and adjust two key settings. The first one is the maximum allowed replay time. This is totally up to you if you want to save the last minute or the last five minutes. The second one is important as well. The amount of RAM you allocate affects how long OBS can store footage before saving it to the disk, which is crucial for managing bitrate. Higher bitrates fill the buffer faster, requiring more RAM. Lower bitrates allow for longer buffer durations. Balancing these settings optimizes recording quality without overloading your system. So when you are configuring the replay buffer settings, keep bitrate in mind. Now that we've set all the settings, let us test replay buffer. As you can see, there is a new section in the controls tab. So let's start the replay buffer. As you can see in the task manager, OBS is now recording the video and saving it temporarily in the RAM. Once you reach the duration limit, the recording will start overwriting data from the beginning. Also, the maximum amount of RAM that is set determines the maximum allowed size of the saved video. Now if you want to save the recording, don't click on stop replay buffer, but instead click on this down arrow and it will save the video. So how does Replay Buffer in OBS differ from NVIDIA's Instant Replay? While NVIDIA's feature is straightforward, OBS provides more flexibility by allowing users to choose specific video and audio codecs. Replay Buffer in OBS functions similarly to hitting the record button, providing more options for customizing settings to your needs. However, in terms of core functionality, they serve the same purpose. If you want the best OBS recording settings, watch this video next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.